Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're not new here and you're already a subscriber, I want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It means so much to me and I really appreciate and love every single one of you that watches my videos and comments. It's so, so fun for me to be able to communicate with other makeup lovers. <laughs> um, but Anyways, today we're going to be discussing the new Melt Cosmetics Nudes, Nudes, Nudes lipstick uh, formulation and how it feels on the lips. If that's something you'd be interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, I purchased the A lipstick from the Melt Nudes, Nudes, Nudes collection. Um, 11 brand spanking new lipsticks, $22 each, a full range of neutral tones in our iconic ultra matte finish. Put on your birthday suit. We're celebrating eight years. So that's fun. Um, yeah, so I picked up one. I picked up the shade Tees, an ultra matte lipstick. It comes in this super cute little uh, brown packaging. I'm gonna assume that all of the boxes are um, the same color as the shade of lipstick because the tease shade that I got is a neutral brown. It retails for $22 and it's tiny. It's so cool. <laughs> I was really surprised when I opened it because it's tiny. Um, this is one of my, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. And look at the melt one compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like it's just, it's smaller. So I immediately was like, is there less product? <laughs> Am I paying around the same amount of money for less? But really, um, I have my notes, looking at my notes. Um, the This has 0 0.12 ounces and 3.4 grams of product. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills has 0 0.12 ounces but 3.5 grams of product so maybe a little bit more a teeny bit um but uh most of them most of the lipsticks that i looked up they're really similar 0 0.12 ounces i thought that was really cool really interesting it's just so tiny and cute wasn't expecting it and i was like is it a mini but it's not so Here's the color I got. Um, it's got a beautiful, beautiful embossing um, with the Melt Cosmetics on it. I'll insert a picture so you can just, you can see a better um, representation. I wanted to try it on with you guys and compare it to a few other ultra matte formulas in my collection that I have and yeah. My lips are really dry and very flaky and very cracky um, and uh, they're very liney, <laughs> um, wrinkly, I don't know, they just, they have a lot of lines. So I used to be really into the matte formula. I usually put a gloss on top of my mattes now, but I want to see, there's some more comfortable mattes that I don't really need to put a gloss on top of. Um, my uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and my Pat McGrath lipstick and my Juvia's Place. They're all a hydrating matte formula where this claims to be ultra matte. So we'll see how much it just settles into those lines that I have. Okay, um, so that's the lipstick all by itself. I uh, it's the shade Tease again. It's it's described as a neutral brown. I think it's neutral. I think it leans a little bit more on the cool side, which I really like. <laughs> um, I have some warm shades. It feels really comfortable. It was smooth to apply. I wonder if. Um, 
it feels like it's leaning a little bit more towards the hydrating matte side. Um, I do have a few other ultra matte lipsticks that I wanted to compare it to. Um, it feels already a little bit, it feels more comfortable than my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, which are so matte and so drying. Um, but I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit and see, um, if it's transfer proof and let it just kind of settle for a second, see if it gets more, you know, that lipstick feel that sucked all the <laughs> moisture out of your lips feel. And we'll do some swatches. So there's Tease from Milk Cosmetics. It's definitely a deeper nude and I did, I did want a deeper nude. Sometimes if I go too light with my nudes, I can look really washed out. <laughs> so, and I've done that before. I remember my very first time going into Ulta. I got a NYX, um, one of their, their matte liquid lipsticks and I got super, a super light shade. It was way too light for me, but I was watching YouTube back in, you know, 2016 where you had to have like <laughs> the closer to your skin tone, the better. So, um, I remember putting it on and I just, I looked like dead. <laughs> it was not, it was not a cute look. Um, that was Melt Tease and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Honey. And, uh, just watching it, I can feel Anastasia Beverly Hills Honey. It has way more of a, a like a, um, what's the word? It sticks more um, and I can feel that this lipstick doesn't feel as dehydrating and as matte as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I wanted to compare it to a Maybelline Daringly Nude. This is a matte from Maybelline. Um, the shade isn't similar but I want to see it dried down because <laughs> I put that matte on one time and I haven't put it on since I emphasized every single line that I had so intensely <laughs> um I haven't I just haven't worn it again so this is Melt Teas ABH Honey and Maybelline Daringly Nude fabulous I do want to compare it to I have Juvia's Place Libra this isn't, um, Juvia's Place is definitely, it's considered a hydrating matte. Oh, it's just, it's way more brown. There's Juvia's Place Libra. Way more brown. How pretty. Oop, hope you guys can see those sh swatches. I am loving how this feels. It's been on my lips just for a little bit, but it feels really nice. I know there was a lot of people that were afraid of ultra matte, but so far it feels really good. Let's see if it's transfer proof as of right now. It's not. <laughs> um, it has been on my lips for a little bit. I wonder, yeah, it's still coming off left two little kissy marks um but after it dries down and you blot it a little bit less and less is coming off every time I kiss my arm so if you can tell um it is settling into my uh lip lines just a little bit if I wanted an, a matte formula that's not going to come off, uh, I would I would definitely use this lipstick. But, you know, I don't know if I would even put a lip gloss on it. I'm loving the finish and I'm loving how it looks and my lips have lines and lips have lines. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes and there is no more transfer when I kiss my hand. Probably kiss my arm. <laughs> uh, 
10 times by now, but there's no more transfer. Um, and yeah, it's dried down matte, uh, but it's dried down as a very comfortable matte. Um, it's not, uh, it doesn't feel very deep. It doesn't feel dehydrating. Definitely not as dehydrating as a liquid lip. I think this would actually be a good, if you don't like liquid lips and you just, um, you hate that, that crusty, uh, dry feeling that some liquid lips do give you, I think this would be a really good alternative if you're looking for a transfer proof matte formula that's not a liquid lip. I think the $22 price tag is actually really good for what you get and um, the quality is great. The embossing is beautiful. It's just, it's a moment and I love it. So. Just want to let you guys know and update you on that. All right. That's my thoughts on the Melt Cosmetics new nudes, nudes, nudes lipstick that I picked up. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. loving this lip with the eye. I think it looks fabulous. 